good morning i am devasena in this lecture we are going to discuss about wireless sensor network simulators in detail we are going to discuss about kocha simulator wireless sensor network simulators in order to realize a real scenario or a test bench which provides realistic results the physical architecture and the hardware development require a lot of resources and the wsn programming and debug become extremely complex for that purpose we are going for wireless sensor network simulation the wsn simulators can be divided into different categories in relation to their features and applications these categories are namely code level simulators topology control simulators environment and wireless medium simulators due to the ability to increase the real wsn prototyping the cross level simulators like kuja have become an important class of simulators this kind of simulators operates at three abstraction levels the network level the operating system level and the machine code instruction set level although these simulators are open source flexible and extensible at all levels the test interface the external connection at the physical level and the direct interaction with the process control via the wireless sensor network are very poor kuja wireless sensor network simulator is specifically designed to simulate wireless sensor network most widely used to simulate iot network applications kuja simulator is a cross level java based wireless sensor network simulator distributed with contiq os it allows the simulation of different levels from physical to application layer and also allows the emulation of the hardware of a set of sensor nodes contiki is an operating system with a focus on low power iot devices kuja is the contiki network simulator kuja allows the large and the small networks of contiki modes to be simulated characteristics of kuja simulator contiki offers a java based simulator called as kuja which is used to simulate the wireless sensors kuja simulator is more flexible so that many parts of the simulator is replaceable and extendable the parts of the simulator like simulated node hardware plugins and radio medium can be replaceable a simulated contact mode in kuja is an actual compiled and executing contact system the system is controlled and analyzed by kuja this is performed by compiling contact for the native platform as a shared library and loading the library into java using java native interface that is jni when developing contiki applications you should normally keep all your code in a project directory your project directory may be a subfolder of contiki example examples slash my project or external to contiki example slash home slash user slash my contiki project java version 1.6 or later is required to run kuja 
we recommend using the latest version from Sun. In addition, the build tool and is also required for building Kucha. For Windows users, we recommend using Sigwin. Add Sigwin binaries path. For example, C colon backslash Sigwin backslash bin to your path environmental variable. To compile and start Kucha, cd tools slash kuja and run after creating a new simulation kuja's window is filled with the main simulating tools as shown in the next image here we briefly describe the functionalities of each two network simulation control Nodes, mode output, and timeline tool we are going to discuss. Network tool. Network shows the location of each node in the network. It can be used to visualize the status of each node, including LEDs, mode IDs, addresses, NOF outputs, etc. Initially, this window is empty and we need to populate it with our sensors. Simulation control tool. Here is a representation of simulation control tool. Simulation control. This panel is used to start, pass, reload or execute steps of the simulation. It shows the time of execution and the speed of simulation. It means that we can run the events several times faster than it would take in real time execution. The next tool is Nodes 2. Here is a representation of Nodes 2. Nodes. This is a simple notepad for taking notes about the simulation. Mode output tool. This is a representation of mode output tool. Mode output shows all output of serial interface of the nodes. It is possible to enable one window of mode output for each node in the simulation. Timeline tool. Timeline. Simulation timeline where messages and events such as Channel change, LEDs change, log outputs, etc. are shown in timeline. Breakpoints tool. In addition to the default tools, it is possible to exhibit other tools such as breakpoints, radio messages, script editor, a buffer view, and mode duty cycle, which can be enabled in the tools. Menu. Here is a representation of Kucha simulation overview. Various tasks that are performing in Kucha simulation. Thank you very much for listening this lecture. If you like this lecture, means kindly share this video to your friends. For further updates, kindly subscribe my channel. Thank you.